please tell Marianne that I'm... Be with you in a minute, Harrison. Stop it, Tommy. You'll waken the dead. I'll teach that little horn blind son of mine. Telegram for Uncle Tony. Ah. Now you have something this time to blow about. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Forrester, will you please tell Mary that I should... How can I read when you're making this awful music? So you will blast me out of bed, eh? Tommy, you have not blown in vain. I'll teach you how to play this plumbing instrument. Tommy, please! Ah, it is here. I'm convinced of that, but does it say anything? anything? Everything. I am to conduct for the Williams Opera Company. Good, Tony, good. You'll be glad to get back in the harness, eh? I will, if it's a nice, warm harness. This will everything be warm in this house. What's the matter with it, with the furnace? It's busted. Yes, it's always busted. Down, dear. Ah, bravo, bravo. Well, I finally got it started. And we start on a triumphant tour. Marvelous. Ah, but I am sad. Why don't you come with us and sing my music? I've sung it for you hundreds of times. Eh, uh, but you should sing it for the public, and you'll be sensational. And Dad, Louise, give your lives to the theater. And what have you to show for it? A nice dress clipping. What I want is a family album. Yeah, from that Harrison picture, you're not going to even get a snapper shot. But Uncle Tony. We've saved enough to put Tommy in school, set Dad up in a studio, and... And you get married to that picture. You're right. Are yeah, you crazy? No, Tony. She's the only one in the family who isn't. Harrison Beecher's a fine man. That's what's the matter with him. He's a steady, dependable, safe, sane. I'm telling you, uh, I think he's crazy. I'll break that thing into a million pieces. It's Gloria. Are you sure? Yes, of course it is. Herself? That's it's possible. Is. She's in Reno getting a divorce. No, that was last year. She's in California getting married. Oh, that was easy. No, stop it. My people, my darlings, my own. Oh. Into the mob scene, merry villagers. Welcome, welcome. Gloria, where have you been? Getting a divorce. Ah, oh, marriage is not for me. The foresters belong to the public. I return to the theater in the greatest play of my career. I will forget the tragedy of my love and give what is left of my broken life to my art. How's your lumbago, Pop? It's a little better, thank you, dear. Tony, how are you? We're in a hurry. We're rushing off for an engagement, sir. Splendid. New York needs you. But water gap's got us. Come with me. I'll drop you there on my way to New York. You hear that, Louise? We want to get a free ride. I hope we have as good luck getting back. Well, hurry. I can only stop a moment. I'm a week late for rehearsals now. I'll have them ready in no time. We are packing. We are packing. We are packing. Oh, Marion. Darling, I'm terribly sorry. I didn't know you were waiting. I'll be... With me in a moment. I understand, darling. Mariana, Mariana. Where is my butterfly? I gotta meet me, Margarita, Carmen. But my butterfly, she's gone. I'll find her, Uncle Tony. Can't they even do their own packing? They're infants. Be with you in a minute. I wish you were going to stay with us a little while, darling. I'll have to stay forever if you don't help me. Something wrong? Everything. I'm in an awful jam. 
Why don't you use your eyes? Why don't you use your head and come with us? Because I'm going to marry Harrison. Harrison, ah. <laughs> Why don't you do as I ask you and become a great success uh, like, uh, like... Uh... Like Gloria? Sure, why not? She's a great artist. She makes uh, 10, 20, 30,000 dollars a year. And spends 40, 50, 60,000. She's an artist, all right. Gets a new husband with every part. That's not my idea of living. No, uh, now I'm washing my hands with you. I go goodbye. If you go like that, you'll be arrested. Well, now I have lost my pants. You probably packed them in your grip. Ah, you know what it is with a great genius. The mine is absent. <laughs> all right, coming. You know, I'm afraid Tony will... <laughs> I wouldn't pay any attention to him. You know, if I had your sense, I wouldn't be any closer to show business than sitting in the back row of a movie theater, holding hands with some nice guy that's working his way up to be a grocery clerk. Providing it were Tony. You're right. I wouldn't change my Tony for... Louise! Louise! For two cents, I'd smack him down. Oh, be brief. Brief what? I say stop wasting my time. Say, how about this grip? You carry it. Oh, there he goes, giving me that suitcase business again. I can tell we're on shore now. I knew you'd help me, Dad. Oh, of course, dear. We foresters always stick together. Ah, that's what I like about it. What's the matter? You always say, you always say. You always say, you the one that's always You never made a plan on the other side. You never made a plan on the other side. How much longer? It'll soon be over. Well, do I get the star dressing room? Trouble, trouble. You always start with a temperament. Oh, it's at my eye. Oh, it's, uh, oh, it's so sorry, please. Say, how about these grips? You cut it. Oh. Say, careful, that's my eye. But I'm going to put the sand. Oh. 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 oh, my, isn't he naughty? <coughs> well, if you'll go in the study, Mrs. Bucket, I'll be ready for your lesson in a moment. Thank you. Once more, Mrs. Plunkett. Oh. How can I sing scales when I'm near you? I want to sing a love song. Scales before love songs, Mrs. Plunkett. You must acquire control. Breath control, I mean, <laughs> if you don't mind. Oh. 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 There, nine minutes flat. Where do you want to go? Anywhere, just as long as it's peaceful. When we're married, our life is calm and solid as... As a rock. Let's go to Gibraltar on our honeymoon. <laughs> no excitement. No explosions and, and no... And no foresters. Right. <laughs> My signal. What, what signal? I'm sorry, Harrison. You have to wait. Well, yeah, but Marion... Why are you so cold when my heart burns so... Uh, heart burns? Oh. Do you mind if I knit in here? Oh, not at all. Mrs. Plunkett has, uh, has heart burn. Perhaps a little fresh air. Perhaps. You leave very little doubt. What a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, young fellow. After I'm married, you'll have to answer your own signals. And you have only a week to practice in. Oh, your marriage, well, uh, uh, I'm afraid... Oh, it's too late for you to object now. No, 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 it isn't that. You see, you see, Gloria... Gloria? Well, what has she to do with it? Well, I'm afraid Gloria's had a, a lot of trouble. I had to lend her a little money. How much? Everything we had. She, she needed it, Marion, dear. You had no right to give her that money. Don't you realize I can't marry Harrison until you and Tommy are provided for? Don't you worry about me. I'll borrow some money. We'll get along somehow. You and Harrison go right ahead. No. There's been enough borrowing in this family. There'll be no marriage until I can start with a clean slate. Yes, you're right. We've all taken advantage of you. I'm, I'm just a burden, an old fool who's keeping you from your happiness. No, darling. I, I'll manage somehow. But she'll send it back in the spring, she promised. Yes, yes. 
Of course she will. And we'll go along here just as we are until spring. Yes. We'll go along just as we are until spring. To the bride and groom to be. The bride and groom. Or not to be. To be, darling. This time, sure. This time, I'll make sure. <laughs> Clear, 
Bring the baggage out in. Baggage? Huh. Do you realize I'm an artiste? I'm the spirit of the dance. Well, bring the spirits too, you thirsty Korean. Thirsty Korean. <laughs> Look. Oh. Isn't that the same outfit? The Williams Opera. There is no place like home. <laughs> Even when it's Marion. Lovely place to be stranded with a whole troop for company. Uncle Tony. Oh, Mariana. <laughs> we are here. <laughs> meet my company. <laughs> oh, so glad to meet you. Come on, come on. I'll show you the way. What is mine is everybody's. Come on, come on. Hungry, Hungry as the wolves. <laughs> I want you to meet a very old friend of mine, Madame Bova. My daughter. I've heard you sing, madame. I, I seem to remember. When Vova sings, they always remember. I know. It was when mother and dad were with the San Remo company. I was a little girl. I stood in the wings and you, you sang Margaret. Oh, now I remember. The great theater was packed. And I sang that night only to that little girl in the wings. Ah, uh, because she had music in her eyes. You were beautiful. Uh, now I'm not. But as long as I listen, I shall see. Dear child. Marion! Oh, it's good to see you. Hmm, I'm going to like it here. Excuse, please. Uh, this is Mike Williams, our manager, leading tenor, publicity man, director. Mechanic, cook, and... Uh, Animal trainer. You'll be crazy about him. I am already. Good. <laughs> Come, 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 Mariana. We are hungry. Come, come. This is clear. Now, one, two. anything but loafers. Oh, that isn't fair, Harrison. They've been anxious to work ever since they've been here. But you're not running a boarding house. We will if Tony and Louise don't get a break. 
William's in Louisville right now trying to get Joe Shelton to back Tony's show. <laughs> I'll back him to 10 gallons of gasoline. Oh, they'll soon be gone. Now, why don't you pull out and marry me? Not until Gloria comes back with some money. I'm stranded, too. But I can take care of your dad and Tommy after all. Oh, no. We'll not start out with a mortgage on our happiness. I've seen too much of that with these artistic foresters. <laughs> You do not bring him? That is the end of me. Uh, if you'll keep calm, I'll tell you the good news. Oh, oh, the opera. Oh, Sheldon is going to produce your music. Ah. There's only one thing. I am a sensation. Come, let's have dinner in honor of myself. Huh? Oh, come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Oh, hey, what Magnificent, madame. I have cooked for an impresario. And if this one hadn't come to our rescue, we'd be cooking the impresario for the ham. Again, madame, you insult the great artist. I shall now let you have it with his hats. If you do, I'll be awful mad. <laughs> Faithless maiden, faithless maiden, faithless one, the last I love of thee. Die this barren look, die this barren look, oh my darling, do not reproach me. Isn't he going to produce Tony Show? Oh, he's interested, but he says there has been. Well, what's going to become of them? I won't let them down. We'll get by somehow. But they're old. They can't do anything else. But that doesn't apply to you. You're young. Why don't you get out and get yourself a regular job? And what would you suggest? Paper hanging or plumbing? I couldn't advise you. You have the soul of a gypsy. And you have the soul of an alarm clock. Oh, hello. Hello. Wait in the living room, Mr. Plunkett. I'll call Dad. <laughs> nice little boy. Someday we all be a success and eat like this every day. <laughs> That's right. That's a good one. Hey, Dad. Hmm? She's in again. Who? Mrs. Plunkett. Duty calls. Oh, the things I do for music. <laughs> and eat your lunch sensibly. I can't. I've got a date with the New York Symphony. What are you talking about? Oh, uh, you wouldn't understand. Tommy, come on, sit down. I can't keep Mitchell Tuscan any waiting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's so funny? The eternal conflict between the moon and sixpence. This is some of your work. Ever since you've been here, he's been acting as crazy as, as you. You wouldn't understand. The kid's got something. That certain something that would never penetrate the soul of an alarm clock. Have some tomatoes? What? Some tomatoes. No, thanks. Well, that sort of leaves me with a gesture on my 
Shall we try it once more, Mr. Strunkett? Yes, I'd like to. Is such a bad teacher. Well, what's wrong? Well, one of us must be wrong. We'd better find out. Marion, dear, will you sing it for us? That I'd rather not. Oh, please do, dear. Yes, I will. I'll show him. I mean, uh, her. Hotel? Michael, 
Rico, uh, Mr. Williams, wait a minute. Uh, let me speak to Mr. Shelton. You must listen. I've heard enough. Don't be silly. It's what... Hello, is that you, Joe? Michael, please. Go back on the shelf alarm clock. Say, Joe. All right, go ahead and make a fool of yourself then. Listen, this is Mike Williams. I've discovered a Jenny Lynn. <laughs> I know she's dead, but this one isn't. She's stupendous. She's been a darn good judge of music, and that's good enough for me. Come on over here, Joe. All right, all right. Say, uh, son, you don't mind if I take a little peek at this songbird, do you? I want you to judge her by her voice alone. Ooh, she's as good as all that, huh? Sit down. <laughs> Just relax. Don't move. Don't breathe. Just listen. Then we'll talk afterwards. Have a cigar. Thanks. Now sing like you've never sung before. Oh, oh but Mr. M Williams, I, I, here I it is. Explain about that. It, this is no time for temperament. Something? Everything. Uh, excuse me, Tommy. Michael. Oh, uh, please. Tommy, oh, please. Gosh, why can't you leave us men alone? such good pals. Well, you don't care anymore what I like. Yes, I do. It's three o'clock. Maestro, could your office be used a lady soloist? Sure. Well, stand over there like she's on a stage.
Devil, why didn't you tell me? I tried hard enough, but can anyone ever tell you anything? I forgive you. Where are we going? Down to see Sheldon. What for? To sing for him. No. And sign you up as a prima donna. I will not. Oh, why don't you two keep singing? Get along swell, Land. Well, Marion, you may listen to reason. Hello. I'm sorry. Will you try to understand? That voice of yours. It's the answer to my prayers. And will you try to understand, too? The last thing I want in this world is a career. Why not? I've seen too much of what it can do to people. I hate everything connected with it. You can't. You've had no choice in the matter. You can't give a voice like that to yourself. It's only yours to give. My mother believed that. She had her career. One night stands, cheap hotel, cold, hungry, always on the move. I was born backstage, but I'm not going to die there like she did. We take things like that for music. There are moments, magnificent moments. Moments aren't enough. Marion, you've got to sing. Marion! Marion! Don't give up, Mike. Go get her. Thanks, I will. Don't you dare run away from me. 
What's happened? <laughs> Only a voice was involved. Listen here, Harrison. You've got to reason with Marion. What about? With a voice like that? Stop it. She belongs to the world. Why, you can't. Here comes Gloria. Whee! Gloria! Hello, Tommy. Hello, darling. Hello, darling. <laughs> Hello. Well, I got here. On time, just as I promised. You're all set, dear. Money and everything. On with the wedding. Gloria, you've saved me. He's trying to make a prima donna out of me. He is? Why, the... Michael Williams! Oh! <laughs> Gloria, darling. What are you doing here? <laughs> You're just on time. You've got to help me. Sorry, you can't marry this girl, Beecher. Really? Suppose we leave that to Marion. Oh, you... You're in love. How wonderful. With him? Why, I wouldn't... Why, all I want out of this girl is music. You'll marry him over my dead body. It would be a pleasure. My error. I'll make you sing if I have to wreck the place to do it. Mike Williams, will you tell me what you're doing? Following your advice. I'm a carpenter. All right, boys. Head down the other side. Yes, boss. OK, Captain. Yes, you go. You, you can't tear down our barn. <laughs> but I have. Then you put it up again. Yes, Mike. Tommy. You know, Jim, I stuff that just came. Electric table, water room lamps. Gosh, I told him to store it in the living room. Fine. In the living room? Yeah. Say, Mike, can I help tear down the rest of the barn? No. We need the lumber, Marion. Yeah, for benches. For benches? For what? Well, you can't ask the people to stand up to watch the show. Cut up the boards, boys, and plane them down smooth. Yeah, we don't want the people to get slivers in their pants. <laughs> oh, Mike. Gloria, have you seen what this idiot just, here... Just a minute, Marion. Mike, I've got an idea. We'll wreck the summer house and use it for the orchestra. The summer house? Orchestra? You're terrific, Gloria. Michael, I'm having the door between the two master bedrooms pulled down. What for? To make a dressing room for, for the valley girl. The valley girl? <laughs> what for? Mike, Mike, don't get excited, don't get excited. I'm coming. I will explain to you what I've been thinking very much about. Now, look here. Now, you see those weepy willows? Well, uh, well, now, come, come, come. I'll show you. Now, if we use the front porch for the stage, we'll use the weeping willow for our curtains. Capici? Hmm? Uh, Kachan? Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Yes. And we'll rip out the ends of the porch for the wings. Whatever it is you're doing, you'll have to stop it. You're tearing this place to pieces. Oh, that's all right. But we'll have to. Oh, Mike's got a marvelous idea, a great idea. Idea of what? Of using the house as a backdrop and the porch as the stage. For what? For the show. You, you're giving the show here? You have gone. Crazy. It is genius. My music under the stars. Like in its natural setting. We can see 1,500 people on the lawn. And where will you get the audience? From Louisville. There's 100,000 people there for the Kentucky Derby. With no place to go at night, they go for this show in a big way. And where will you get the money to put the show on? We'll manage okay with the money you advanced us. I... Ah, darling, it was awfully sweet of you to help us out. See, si, see. Si. Gloria, you did. Now, dear, it's only for a week. That's all right. You'll get a double. And look at the fun you'll have. Gloria. Darling, don't you understand? You'll get your money back and more as soon as the show goes over. And what will I do if the show fails? It can't. Singing it. It's in your hands, Marion. <laughs> Rather in your throat. I'll not sing that part or any other. Never. Then we'll have to dig somebody up. We'll put it over without you. But you won't put it over on me. You'll pay me back every cent, and the night I get it, I'll leave you for us just to totter on your own feet. Tommy, you'll go to military school for discipline. And you, Romeo, will get some exercise fixing the furnace. That will give you the strength to repulse Mrs. Plunkett by yourself. And you... I surrender. You've stranded yourself here for the last time. Oh, Mariana. When the crutch is taken away, maybe you'll learn to walk. And you'll learn to live on what you earn, when you know I'm not here to scrimp and save enough for you to borrow and lend. And you, Mr. Genius, had better take in enough to pay me back every cent, or I'll have you put in jail. <laughs>
What for? Badia, Badia. Where's my expressing room? Do not annoy me. Downstairs. Follow me. Say, what's the matter with you? Uh, can you hear? Prima donna si prim. Pa! Prima donna scream! You're right, you're right. I agree with you absolutely. Something must be done. Yes, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to kill her. Now relax, relax. Yes, I am going to kill her. Then I am to be shot. In the sunrise. All right, all right. Now lead me to Mike. Come this way. Oh. Come in. Hello, boys. Hello, Mike. Good news. The house is sold out. Mike, you shouldn't open tonight. I've got to open it. Now, Mike, listen. This show has a great chance. But with Louise in that lead, it's going to be murder. Sugar sure, boy. Well? You'll take my advice, you won't give this performance. Please, Mike, return the money. Then your conscience is looking upon your face. All right, I'll return it. Oh, uh, thank you, thank you. Oh, Mr. Shelton, so sweet of you to come back. Uh, yes, yes, uh, thank you very much. Uh, you see, uh, Miss Louise, mm -hmm. uh, Michael and I have just had a conference, and uh, Michael and I have decided, or rather, uh, Michael has that he has a little something that he feels that he wants to tell you. Oh. Yes. We feel that I have all the confidence in the world in you. Go out there and sing. Yes, yeah, sing and run out for your life. Yes, but you agreed to give the money back. And I'm going to. Here. Well, thank you. What are you doing? I'm taking my soul out of Hawk. Oh, I am now ruined for good. Well, boys, if I must, I must. You see, uh, Miss Louise, Tony and I have been trying to persuade Michael to, to call off the performance, to call the play off. Uh, off? Yes. Well, what for? Well, uh, is this new? Oh, goodness. <laughs> no, no, it isn't new. Of course, we're, we're quite assured that you have all the talent in the world. Really a very, very brilliant woman. But uh, Tony uh, feels that you're not capable of singing a romantic role. Oh! What? So I'm not good enough to sing your music, eh? Well, no, 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 no. Listen, as a wife, you're the most sweetest woman in the world. But as a soprano? You would have back a lapse. Oh! 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 Look oh. how oh. she's standing. Oh. Get a hold of her arm. Lift her up on the bed gently. That's the idea, gently but firm. Always be gentle with a fainting woman. That's it. Call a doctor, someone, quickly. A doctor? Is there a doctor in the house? Oh, I'll get a doctor. Oh, doctor? Doctor? Oh, you poor darling. You'll be all right, dear. I can't go on. Two minutes. Two minutes overture. Two minutes. Oh, I can't make it. Mary, you'll have to go on, Tony. Oh, Mariana, just for tonight. Then you poor Aunt Louise, she will die happy. Don't worry. I'll go on for you. Now I'm a sensation. Thank you, Mary. I'm doing it for them. Send her costume to my room. Uh, what the... And you. Ah! ah, you sang the note beautifully for the first time in your life. Who stabbed me? I did. You cheap, unscrupulous faker. Well, we almost got away with it. You had to wink. Why do you make faces? Overture! Overture! Go down and stop the overture. What for? Go on, go on. Come on, give me that gown. Hurry up. Come on, hurry up. I'm not licked yet. Marion, now look here, William. I haven't got time. Marion, you put this on. And you get out of here. I am a desperate man. Don't you think you've been... Don't argue with that. Now, wait a minute. Sorry, Harrison, but I simply got to do it. Let me go. Take your things off. What? Quiet, you. I'll attend to this. Now relax, because I'm going to undress you. Harrison, Harrison, he's undressing me. Stop the talking. All right, you win. But get out of here. Oh, no. But don't worry. I'll turn my back. Marion! 
Marion, don't forget we're engaged. Well, your dress, please. You won't get me to sing. You'll see. Now, uh, the next thing, whatever it is. First exit. First exit. Just five minutes to your entrance queue. I won't walk a step. You won't have to. Big smile back on your face. Which one? This one? I'm faithful to me and it's keeping me alive. Keeping me alive. Keeping me alive. I'm faithful to me. Stop! Make way for the prima donna. She kicks. One time. One time. Oh, well, it's not good. Use my heart. Change my face. This is your entrance. Smile. Don't worry. I'm going to laugh right out loud at you. This is our cue, George. when we get down there and I don't sing. I'll break your neck, sweetheart, if you don't. You know, I'm capable of anything, even murder. So smile. Two mortals meet as you and I Hearts miss a beat Lips breathe a sigh, life seems complete, for love is nigh. Eight bars before your cue, my sweet. Mariana, per piacere, unlock your face. You asked for it. Now find a way to get yourself out of it. I have.
darling. Stop acting. The curtain's down. Marion, don't you see? Holding you in my arms, carrying you. It just happened to me. Let me go. You rascal, put her there, boy, put her there. Listen, boy, you've got something. Cut me in on this, and we'll open this show in New York in the fall. New York in the fall? How about going out on the road now? Nah, don't be silly. We can't lug this house all over the country. Don't be a sap. There's a house like this outside of every city from Richmond to Memphis. Right. I got it. We'll make it a civic affair. We'll troop the show on buses. We'll plaster 24 sheets all over every barn below the Mason and Dixon line. It's a deal. Right. Let's go. Boy, we're going places with this, believe me. Oh, we've got something, believe me. my 
Crushing my dress. It says in the script, he holds her very close and kisses her like this. As much as that? More. I thought it's the audience. Damn the audience. I love you. And that's not in the script. Damn the script. I'm afraid I love you too. It's a swell script. Because it says they belong to each other as the curtain falls. He can't take you away from me. I can't get along without you. You must, Michael. I can't let Harrison down. I, I won't. Think of me. Why would you? You're cute, Michael. There'll be nothing but champagne and caviar with the Shelton Williams Company. You... Hello, come in, darling. Come right in. Don't be bashful. That's the girl. Here's the little lady that made the whole thing possible. Here's a toast to our star. Our star. Oh, this is wonderful. Thank you so much. I shall never forget this night. This night? Well, honey, this is only the beginning. After our tour, why, the whole country will be talking about you. Oh, and, uh, folks, uh, while we're celebrating, don't forget your call for tomorrow. Now, remember, have your trunks ready at 12 o'clock. The buses arrive at 7. And remember, our next stand is Memphis. Wait a minute, Joe. It's all right, relax. Don't worry, I've fixed everything. I've wired to a minister. You two can get married in Memphis. Marvelous, wonderful publicity. Joe, let me explain. It's all right, don't explain. I've fixed everything. Why, you just asked me. How did you know? <laughs> How did I know? <laughs> Why, after the first act, he told me he was going to sign you up to a lifetime contract. I understand. Don't say a word. Youth, wonderful thing, but it's too darn good for the young. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I say the darndest things. Come on, folks, liven up the party. Please, Marion, believe me. I love you. I do love you. You'd get my name on a contract even if you had to marry me to do it. Hurry, Harrison. Well, hadn't we better let the others leave first? No. No, I want to get away now. All right, darling. Oh, 
Hate a man as much as that? You better hurry or you'll miss your bus. <laughs> 